a curious looking caterpillar and the next thing she knows, state officials are knocking on her door. Yeah, that caterpillar is actually an invasive species in our state. And local tens Janine Stanwood tells us about the big threat that it carries. It was this one right here, here right around here -ish somewhere. Heather Ludwig and her daughter noticed a caterpillar on their Meyer lemon tree in the family's Key West backyard. Uh, when we first saw it, it was maybe this big and it was brown and we thought it was a native species. But then it turned green. They were intrigued and went online to try to identify it. We used the Citizen Science website to take a picture to try to identify it since it wasn't what we had initially anticipated. And then the comments started coming in. Another homeowner contacted the state of Florida. The next thing this family knows, scientists with the Florida Department of Agriculture are showing up at their door. A homeowner had posted some pictures online. This is Dr. Trevor Smith, who tells us scientists identified the species as an invasive lime swallowtail. So it's not from here. Where is it from? So originally it's from Asia. Uh, about 20 years ago, it was introduced into the Caribbean and it's kind of been island hopping ever since. Scientists think it might have been blown into Key West from Cuba during a frontal boundary or tropical system. It has not been found anywhere else in the Florida Keys. The spotted butterfly is a strong flyer. They spread rapidly and lay eggs on citrus trees. The very small caterpillars look kind of like bird droppings. Which is damaging for young plants. And as soon as that hatches, the larvae starts feeding on, on the leaf material. Also concerning, Smith worries this could have an effect on the native Shaw swallowtail, an endangered species scientists are trying to reintroduce to the Keys. There's no way we're going to be able to reintroduce the native if this exotic has pretty much occupied the same niche. Another citrus pest is no good. Anyone who might spot what they think is an invasive species is always encouraged to call it in. It's been weirdly exciting. You never think that anything you do is going to make a big difference. In Key West, Janine Stanwood, Local 10 mm. News. So interesting. All right, well, if you think that perhaps you've seen this pest in your yard, there are steps you can take to report it. Head on over to local10.com because we have all that information on how you can alert authorities. Citizen